Popcorn Junkies. Hi. So finally, after months and months of waiting, Nanny Di and Maddie, who saw Beautiful Boy in November at the London Film Festival, can finally review it. Beautiful Boy is the new film starring Steve Carell and... Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Is it Chalamet or Chalamet? Who uh, we all fell in love with. Well, certainly Maddie and Kiki fell in love with him after uh, Call Me By Your Name. And also he was in Lady Bird. Produced, believe it or not, did you know? Produced by Brad Pitt. Oh, it's actually. Exactly, produced by Brad Pitt, yeah. It's well based on two separate memoirs, essentially fusing them together from the POV of a father and a son, which I think is a wonderful concept. I actually yeah. thought it was based on a book that they'd both written, but clearly not. For those of you who don't know, I am a recovering alcoholic slash addict. As and am I, in a way. As are you, yeah. Mum, yeah. Maddie isn't. To potatoes, I am. Potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, Everyone's addicted off. to something. Absolutely. Something. This specifically is about Steve Carell's relationship with Timothy Chalamet and how it starts with his son missing. Yes. And it's the first of many incidents where Timothy Chalamet goes missing throughout the film. And slowly it emerges. We start to get a portrait of his, of, of his childhood and his life, don't we? And presumably people were saying, I didn't look at any of the festival stuff, but presumably people were saying it was sort of boringly repetitive in the sense that it is the same thing over and over again. Absolutely. Like, as it is in life. Well, as it is. And, and I mean, there is a phrase that they use in rehab a lot, which is, you know, madness is repeating the same behaviour, expecting a different outcome. And I think one of the defining features of addiction as an illness is that you repeatedly do the same thing, thinking something different will happen. For, the, for its subject matter and for some of the scenes in it, which are quite graphic in terms of the, the drug use, I thought it was quite a restrained film, strangely. The one key identifier of Timothy Chalamet's character is that he is the son of a previous marriage, Steve Carell's mm, previous yes, marriage. Yes. And, and lives with his father. Rather and than lives with his father, which was incident, kind of unusual, yeah. wasn't it? And yet within that, having experienced what it means to have a child who is from a split home, mm -hmm. it made me view Timothy Chalamet's character in a very different way. So his sense of belonging to that family or not belonging to that family was quite, I think, a key part of his, his spiralling out of control, yeah. I thought. Yeah. What I thought was quite clever about it was, you know, you didn't have a dysfunctional family. You didn't, you no. didn't have an overtly sort of no, yeah. problematic relationship. It wasn't like Steve Carell was a monstrous dad or anything like that, was it? It wasn't a destructive family. He, well, no. he had very, he, well, no, he wasn't, but he had very, very high hopes for his son. True. And the whole sort of idea of, you know, my beautiful boy and this was, it, he, he did have a bit higher than usual in the sense that this, I felt he was saying the whole time, this relationship was different from any other relationship. Right. What happened to my beautiful boy? It was very good, the, the episodic thing of it showed you him trying to go to college, was mm. it for his dad or wasn't it for his dad? Him dropping out, then being proud of himself. I mean, mm. it was all very, very lifelike. I mm. mean, you, you couldn't tell by that point because we were in his head by that point, the boy, mm. whether he was doing it for himself mm. or he was doing it for his dad. There's some degree of pressure from all parents because yeah. all parents want their kids to strive a little bit harder than perhaps they're ever striving. I mean, I think that's the nature of being yeah. 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 What did you think of that? Well, yeah, because I know a few uh, people who have seen it recently who've been really excited about seeing the film because all girls I know this age are obsessed with TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but a lot of them you also respect that he's a really good actor because mm. I respect that he's an amazing actor, he's not just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Of course, um, of course. A lot of my friends were kind of saying a similar thing that they, they didn't quite believe it because mm. there was nothing dramatic enough for him to be an addict or something really weird like that. that right. Like what That's you're saying they didn't have, usually when people are addicts it, it's something you that's happened in their childhood, yeah. it's a trauma or something. But I think it was, I quite like that there wasn't necessarily a traumatic thing. I mean, you could say it was because of the parents split up, because that is traumatic for mm. a kid. Well, I quite liked how it didn't need something dramatic for him to be an addict and to start destroying himself, because I don't think it needs to be something dramatic sometimes. I, I know being a teenager, when parents are doing something that they think is right, which parents are doing is right as well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. a teenager sees it as pressure yes. and they see it as unfair, even if it is fair. And mm. controlling. And, and controlling. Yeah. I wouldn't say he was controlling, but like you said, he had hopes for the mm. him that I don't think the boy had in himself. I mean, mm. with that um, scene where they, where they meet, one of their many meetings, and he says, 
well, you know, this is who I am. And Steve Carell says, who are you? Mm. I mean, clearly they're both coming at um, mm. yeah. the thing mm. from different angles yeah. at that stage. Yeah, but I, I was just disagreeing with my friends because I was kind of just like, I don't feel there needs to be something dramatic yeah. for somebody no, no. to spiral out of control. Because a lot of people think that you, you can only feel these sorts of things if you are struggling, you know, at home, if your family yeah. is very dysfunctional or you're struggling with money. Yeah. Or, you know, something like that, but I don't think it is necessarily, you know, it can just be stuff in yourself. Mm. You can be an insecure person and it can lead to this kind mm. of stuff. And I felt like his character was an insecure person. Yes, definitely. Right, yeah. And that's what led to it. Yeah, very yeah. true. I mean, one of the best things I thought about it in, in terms of it sort of being a, a film about drugs and why people can be addicted to drugs. I remember when Maddie and I came out of the film festival saying, Lots, lots of times that you see addicts in films, they never sort of tell you the thing of why they do it in the first yes. place. They do it in the first place because it feels amazing. Yeah, yeah, and they, yeah, yeah. they say that in the film. Well, he they? says, my life was black and white, and when I took the drugs, it became technicolour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Now, that is a very powerful image. Very powerful. And it's important in a way, I remember saying to Mads, that, that, that people... Well, the film says that. Because often I think people just dismiss alcoholics and addicts as, well, they shouldn't be doing it, yeah. end of. You know, everyone ends up taking something and doing something inadvertently, accidentally, they experiment, whatever. You know, it is important to say, well, the reason they go on further is because they get something from it. Exactly. You know, exactly. that's something they get from it doesn't last forever. No. And it won't last forever. And I think that's what this film was very clever in doing. I think it gave you a very gentle arc into why he did it so you understood why he yes, did it. Yes, yes. You understood why the addiction took hold and then you just saw in a very sort of uncompromising manner the way in which it just rips you apart from yeah. the inside. Yeah. I mean, I thought there were a couple of moments where they had some really good stats where he asked yeah. the guys at the rehab center, what, the woman at the rehab center, what's the statistics for success? And she said a curious figure. She said anywhere between 25% and 60%. When I went into rehab and I went to a rehab center, their statistic for me was they made, in a room of about 40 of us, they made us all stand up and they made us individually sit down. Yeah. And then they left just two of us standing. And they said, we can only categorically say for certain mm -hmm. that you two will survive for at least 20 years. Yes. But they couldn't say for your life. And in that respect, I thought it was very good over crystal meth particularly, yes. which is decimating parts America. of America. Yeah. Drug overdose is the highest killer of under 50s in America. Yeah, exactly. And I thought that was a phenomenal fact. Yeah, exactly. What I liked about this film was there were some scenes that you didn't necessarily, as they were happening, you didn't necessarily think that's particularly significant. And then after the event, you thought that was really significant. Yes. And I'm talking about specifically the one where him and Steve Carell, his dad, share a joint together. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was an incredibly complicated scene. It was. In, in retrospect. Yeah. To be pals with your son or to be the father figure Absolutely. and to say, and in that sense, Timothy, the boy, was leading the whole thing. Oh, totally. He had him... Yeah, because it's like later on when um, Timothy's addiction with crystal meth and yeah. uh, other drugs gets worse. Um, there's a bit where Steve Carell said, I thought you had a problem with uh, pot. And it's like, yes. yeah. you're having a problem with, with everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite difficult for parents because a lot of parents don't know whether to be a best friend or no. Parents, no, you're right. no. Or to be a parent. Obviously, there's a line as to where how far yeah. a parent can go with that, and I don't yeah. think I think some parents just don't know what it is. I mean, I didn't think it was it wasn't that bad in that no. film you know, to share a, a joint. With there's nothing terrible that's going to happen. It's not like you're no. just sharing class A no, drugs. No, 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 no. And I mean, most kids of today know that their parents will have done something. something. And well, it, and that's well, that's what my friends always say. They're like, "Why is my parents not tell, telling me not to do this when they tell me that they did it when they yes. were Yes. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. And I think what what and, and I can give you a direct answer to that because we know it's a lottery. And yeah. we maybe came out the other side, but because you're our children, we've got no guarantee that you'll come out. We got yeah. lucky. I was fascinated by Steve Carell's wife. I thought she oh played it very well. She was, Wait, I thought she was amazing. Well, sorry, oh yes, good point. No, not the ex-wife. His, his, like your mum is to, to Izzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She played that sort of having to step back and wanting to protect her own children. I just thought it was very honest. I thought it was I, very real. I thought it was, it, it led to one of the most powerful scenes wasn't when it? she the chased him in the scene. car. And, yeah. and seeing that again was just hard. Yeah, in her it mouth. was really she, powerful. She, just to focus on her face. Yeah. And you know, she, she'd given everything to this boy. Yes. She, she loved him. Don't she loved her own kids. It absolutely breaks your mm. heart. Yeah. And I thought there were moments where in any other sort of film, you'd have had moments of great histrionics and hysteria. But, I mean, like the moment the moment where I lost it with Timothy Chalamet and I was so fucking furious was when yes. he broke into the house. 
Well, well, and that's that, the that, same scene, isn't yeah. it? Really? What the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what was so good about that, I think, as we've just said in a way, was that that was played without his yeah, it I was. mean, he, he broke in in a way, but yeah. without doing too much damage. Yeah, he was getting his own stuff in. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one thing that stood out for me, and again seeing it a second time, which to me totally didn't seem real at all, and yet it probably is, was when the Steve Carell character took drugs himself. I just didn't think that rang true. That's interesting. Would be true. Um, he was a guy who, as I say, worked for Rolling Stone. He knew, I mean, mm. that to me seemed, and it was a scene that was thrown away because he was mm. sort of like, he, he marched around, papers were all over the place, he mm. woke up. I know what you mean. It, it did stand out a bit. As no, a, but I think as he, was a, try, he was trying to see how... Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, I get why it why, was why there. Why the boy yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. taken by. But I, if it's true, you can't say it. Who were your loyalties with? Who were you feeling for the most? Addiction is seen as, like, by a lot of people, as, as a selfish thing. Yes. And it is selfish in yeah. some cases, but yeah. just to just to just call it a selfish thing is isn't fair mm. because it's not as simple as that. He wasn't. You could tell he was. He was never doing it to hurt his mm. no. dad or anything. No. Like you no. get really upset about his dad being upset about it. Mm. Yeah. They can't help themselves. It's not necessarily a selfish thing. Yeah. So I did feel sorry for him, and especially the moment when um, Steve Carell knows that he has to kind of let go of uh, yeah. Timothy and not allow him oh, to come back sort of thing. Yeah. I Obviously, that I know that that's what you've got to do when somebody's addicted to something, but at the same time, it was like when Timothy was getting really upset and stressed, you could just kind of see the little boy in him mm. not really knowing what to do. That was, for me, my crunch moment. I thought Steve Carell played it, played it absolutely beautifully yeah. and mm. perfectly. And I, was, it, was, was well, the, scene, the scene where he, he said, I can't, we can't take you yeah. back, we can't yeah. take you back. I just wanted to point out like a scene that I found really Chilling was when um, Steve Carell's in uh, Timothy's room mm. and he's found one of his books. Oh, yes. yes, and uh, it starts off with like some stories, some quotes, and stuff that he'd written. And yeah. he's got really nice handwriting and drawings. And then as he starts flipping the pages, like the quotes become a lot darker, and then his handwriting becomes scribbles, oh. and then it's just massive scratches all, where you can obviously see where he's gone insane and yeah. it's just yeah. like not making sense. Well, anymore. that last page was heartbreaking. It was petrifying. Yeah. I mean, it's the yeah. worst thing you'll ever expect to see your childhood because you yeah. can see it's the off his head scrawls yeah. of, of But just... also how he reached that, the painkiller stuff, where yeah. he went to that party and he saw the painkillers. As he's going through the book, Steve Carell, it says, what harm can one polka don do? Yes. What harm? Yeah, yeah. One. Yeah. And, and I mean, in a way, the whole history of America now yeah. hinges on that hinges because on that. it just is cutting sweats. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I thought it was a very powerful film in illustrating the serial, repetitive deceit absolutely. of an addict. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah, they it will... annoys me that people's criticism of the film is the repetitiveness. Yeah, no, 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 I think that's key. Mm. I think yeah. that was a key directorial, structural decision. Because there were so many moments where you're like, oh, he's getting better, that's so yeah, good, and then yeah, he does yeah. it again, you're like, oh! Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at him and you're willing him to be, please be telling the truth on yeah. this occasion, please. Yeah. When he sits down and he says, can we take a drug test? Yes, he and I've just... seen that scene twice and I don't know whether he's telling no, I don't. Not. To be fair, there is ego involved with parents. You know, you, when you look yes. at a child, and you're not that I have necessarily had my own direct, I mean, you've had yes. experience of me being yes. like that. But there I've is a of that. Yeah, and there yeah. is a part of you that's thinking, how, how really? You, really? <laughs> Why are you like this? How yeah, is this happening? You could happen? do anything. Yeah, exactly. Why take this path? Exactly. That's what you're and, was and I think it's really, really amazing, Maddie, that at your age you mm. can actually say the sentence addiction isn't just about selfishness mm. because there are huge thousands of people who just see it as that. Okay, well, let's sum up then. You've been um, waiting for months. Yeah, to this. yeah I, I absolutely, well, I don't know if loved is the right word. No. Yeah, it was so upset. Yeah, it was a shocking film. I just thought it was a really honest like betrayal on addiction and everything, the repetitiveness. I thought Timothy Chalamet's performance was just absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah it was. Especially that last scene, oh my, oh my word, God. when he's in the bathroom. I mean, totally um, without vanity. That without, yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, I mean, because he can never look ugly. Well, no, that, that is true. <laughs> I was thinking that <laughs> attractive throughout the entire thing. Even yeah. not gorgeous That's on the true. floor of a toilet. Yeah. And I thought Steve Carell's performance was really good in it. And I liked that he wasn't upset all the time. Because yes. there were a lot of scenes where I th thought he was going to cry or like, yeah, 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 I agree. really get upset about stuff but he held it together quite a lot of the time because I think it was kind of the shock of all of it. I feel like a lot of other movies would have just gone at it with the parents being really upset and him just crying all the yeah, time yeah, and being yeah. like what are you doing with yeah. But at the same, like you guys say it all the time, right? Yeah. He's 
a parent, but he still makes mistakes in his yeah, yes. of course. Yes. Like, and you want the we're best grown up kids. Yeah. Parents are only grown up kids. Absolutely. Yeah, so absolutely. It was really good how they played on him not really knowing to be a father or a best friend. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of the scenes where he's talking to Timothy when Timothy's in the state as well, like in the cafe scene. Mm. He was a father, but at the same time, I felt like he was a best friend looking yeah. out for his mate. But if I'm honest, that was I think that was the bit that broke my heart a bit because yeah. I've encountered that in my own experiences of being a dad. I, I felt the crack develop in Steve Carell's character yeah. of a realisation that he could only be so much of a friend yeah. and so far, and he could only go so far with that. And, and they definitely didn't glamorise addiction no. as well, it was very graphic no. in the yeah. usage of But equally they didn't, they did not glamorise it, but equually they didn't, it wasn't just a shock fest for the sake of it. it yeah, they, they didn't, didn't make it, it wasn't just gratuitous. Disgusting. But um, yeah, I was a gibbering mess in there and the woman next to me was just like... <laughs> it's like, also because I'm in love with Timothy, so I thought yeah, yeah. he was actually dying. And oh, I was like, yeah, Timothy! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I'd probably give this film a 9.5. Hey. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't know if I quite liked how it started with the dads talking about yeah. the person. I think it could have just started with the empty room. I thought it was amazing, heartbreaking, and sort of a true life horror story. If I have a criticism at all, it was that, and I wonder if people mean this when they say that it, nothing happened, is in a sense, we were at one step at the beginning of the film, and then it took a very, very long time until the end of the film for the Steve Carell character to say, He's got to do it on his on his own. Mm. I was very slightly uncomfortable with that, but then again, that was the Steve yeah, Carell character. Yeah, I felt weird when you said that. Cause, yeah, because Nan said when we came out of it, she, she just didn't like. You didn't quite believe or agree with the fact that he kept going back no. for Timothy, and it took him so long to push him away. But you know, parents not going to want to let go of their. No, 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 no. All of that's true, but 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 it's interesting that the most powerful moment for me with the, you know parent child was the mother. His stepmother, in fact. No, oh, right, um, when she drove after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I would give it eight. Oh, wow. I was yeah. expecting okay. you to give it like a three and I've gone Yeah, no, no, no. I'm pleased what? I saw it again. Oh, yeah. good. You know, I struggled to find a criticism with it because the very thing that I think most of the critics have very unimaginatively taken hold of is the idea, the idea that there's a sort of relentless blank repetitiveness to the story and, and I think that's precisely, I think it was a very successful portrayal of the very boring and predictable uh, relapses that are part of the story of anyone trying to get sober. You know, and as an addict alcoholic, I found myself feeling sort of really strangely split because I felt so powerfully the fatherness of Steve Carell as a father and I felt so powerfully the alienation and sort of lostness of Timothy and just the desire to just blast your head and just blast your heart out of this world because you just feel that everything is utterly unmanageable and untenable. I related to both sides of that. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Now, the only reason I'm not giving it more is I do think I do think they could have afforded to be a little bit even more sort of creative with the camera work. It's purely on the look of it. I thought it, oh, okay. I thought it, I thought it was it was nice and it was understated and you don't want style to get in the way too much but I could have done with a few more a few a few, a few more nice shots I think I wanted to luxuriate in some of the shots a bit more but but I, I really liked it I really liked it For more film and family fun don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update